then we do do we put anything on the income statement and the answer is no we, we debit the asset and we credit cash if we bought it for cash we do expense it over time called depreciation expense but when we buy the building itself not affecting the income statement therefore it's not going to be on the cash flows from operating which is basically the cash flow part of the the uh, the income statement part of the cash flow statement therefore it's going to either be in investing or financing and a lot of people get this one kind of kind of mixed up it's actually going to go into the investing and i know when i was learning this i always thought well investing means stocks and bonds that's what investing means but uh when we think about the business investing means anything that we're putting into a long-term uh investment in order to help us generate revenue in the future so we are in this case investing in the equipment putting our money into the equipment so that it can help us generate revenue in the future so that is an investment in that sense so i know that can be a little confusing but that's where the equipment's going to go down here and if the equipment went up we're, we're going to assume that we bought more equipment what happened well that change must be a result that we bought more equipment so we're going to make that assumption right now now I'm going to put this in here. I'm going to put the difference of 62,250 and make the assumption that we bought that equipment with cash. Then I'm going to make it yellow just like we did up here because that might not be the case, right? We could have bought it for, I mean, it's very possible that if we bought equipment that we financed a large part of it. And if that's the case, then we didn't pay cash for it fully. And we'll have to go back and break that out into a couple different numbers. But let's find a home for all these numbers first and then go see if that's the case or not. So we're going to put cash paid for the purchase of equipment because we're talking about the cash flow statement. We're going to do the same thing we do all for all these numbers. I'm going to put a negative and then point to that 62,250 and that'll flip the sign. So it's going to be a decrease. In this case, it's going to decrease the cash flow. And then I'm going to highlight this and say we found a home for that. And once again, I'm going to make this yellow because I'm going to, I, I want to go back and check that. I want to see, okay, did we pay cash for it? What, what was, how did we buy that? Did we finance part of it? It's very possible that we finance part of that. Okay, let's take a look at the next. Then we have accumulated depreciation here. Now, the accumulated depreciation, if we think about that, once again, where does it go? Is it good? Does it go in the cash flow from operating, investing, or financing? And you might be thinking, well, it's related to the equipment. Why doesn't it go, you know, it should go into the investing over here. But uh, if you think of the other side, again, of the accumulated depreciation, when do we uh, journalize that account? Well, the journal entry is always debit depreciation expense and credit accumulated depreciation. And that uh, expense, the other side, is an income statement account. So that means if, it, if it's an income statement account, it's going to be up here in the operating section. So that's going to be part of the operating section. And it